Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now, I had to really light up the room because the last couple of videos that I've done based on my uh, Halloween bundles, well, they weren't so bright, so I brought my uh, lumens light in. And, you know, obviously it's quite bright now. Uh, it does light up the entire room. It does a fantastic job in that way. So you can actually see the clarity and the detail of these figures. What I'm going to concentrate on now is all of my Day of the uh, Dead collection. Because I love the holiday. It's like a three day event towards the end of Halloween. I think it's the 31st, 1st and 2nd. Where they celebrate the dead over there in Mexico and other Spanish speaking countries. Uh, they celebrate it big time. And even at Mardi Gras you would see a lot of that going on. It's just a popular holiday. And the makeup that they do for the Day of the Dead is absolutely breathtaking. There's some gorgeous artwork out there. Kid you not. Okay. So with this in mind, I've always had a fascination for the Day of the Dead, uh, which is not technically Halloween, but but because of the uniqueness of it, I kind of don't consider it Halloween, but I do, if that makes any sense. I'm not trying to criticize the, uh, the holiday, but I do like the Day of the Dead. So with this in mind, uh, most of the stuff that I got here, I got it from the Christmas tree shop here in my local area. There is a website online that, you know, that sells this kind of stuff. Um, but you can find a lot of this stuff at the Christmas tree shop. Okay, if you got one in your area, go check it out. But anyway, this one here is um, one of the Day of the Dead. He's holding a pumpkin. Okay, now we need to keep in mind here. It's all kind of like a resin type plastic type thing. But he's a big one, okay. He's probably the biggest thing that I got next to my three tiers. Yeah, he is the biggest, okay. But the uniqueness of it is the fact that he's got very cool looking colors okay the pumpkin is very cool looking the pants everything he's wearing like a, a tuxedo type jacket okay very synonymous to the day of the dead when you see a skull like that obviously and there's uh, sugar skulls and all kinds of stuff that come with this holiday all right now let me see where we got this from this is twenty dollars when i got this but I'm pretty sure I got it from the Christmas tree shop. Yep. That's where it says right there. The Christmas tree shop. Most of the stuff I did get from there. So let's go ahead and move into the next one here. Let me put this down here so I don't break it. Now the next one I'm going to show you is probably my, probably my all-time favorite figure of them all. And she, I can't remember her name, but she is classified as... Uh, Technically, I did. So, with this in mind, I will tell you this: when I first got it, it was fantastic looking. And I'm going to move it in so you can actually see what she looks like up close. Okay. As you can see, if you can see it close, uh, I had to glue the neck back on because the actual head popped off. It must have fell off the shelf or something. Uh, I didn't break it or anything. It must, like I said, it fell off the shelf and it must have. Laid it on the ground, I was like, oh my god. And I tried to get it to glue with other type of glue. Uh, but because of the awkwardness of it, I finally got it figured out. I used Gorilla Glue, and she's been fine ever since. But it is my all-time favorite uh, figure based on the Day of the Dead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the camera back and show you what this thing looks like up close. It is nicely detailed. It's got some serious glitter to it. All right, now. She is very cool looking. Look at that. Uh -huh. Very cool. All the way down to the dress here, guys. Alright. See how she sparkles? She is sparkly. But it is my favorite figure because obviously she's female and she's got a skull. It's nicely detailed. Not sure where I got this. I think I got this from the Christmas tree shop as well. But she is a very cool looking figure. Now, the next guys here are the Sombrero Twins. No, just kidding. They're, um, I think they're bandoliers or musicians. Oh, these guys are cool. Okay. Pull it down so you can see them up close. There you go. Uh, these guys here, again, I like most of this stuff. I think the majority of this stuff I did get from um, Christmas Tree Shop. 
maybe a few items from at homes. They do have a tendency to sell uh, certain things, which I'm going to show you here in a second here. If I still have the stickers on them. No, most of them are from the Christmas tree shop. But anyway, they are... If you ever want a day-to-deck -day type of collection, go to the Christmas tree shop. Alright, these guys here. Musicians, okay? Let me just pull this back again. Now let's try it. The back. Alright, the hat. It's got a nice, nice little glitter to it. Okay. It's very cool looking. This guy here is cool too. The thing about sugar skulls or any kind of skulls, they decorate them. Especially when you do makeup. There's some fantastic art out there. Absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Okay. That's those guys. Put them back. Now I also have some Day of the Dead cups. Plastic cups. I don't drink out of them. But I like them simply because it's got the Day of the Dead skulls on them. Okay. And I got a bunch of them, so just so you can see what they look like, okay? These guys are cool. I'm not sure where I got these from. Probably a Christmas tree shop, like everything else. All right. It's got a very cool design. If you ever want to do, like, a birthday party based on the uh, the Day of the Dead, these are the cups for you. <laughs> they're all the same, pretty much, see? Okay, they're all pretty much the same. All right. Put you down here. Let's move on to this guy here. Christmas tree shop. <clears throat> now this one here I think is the one that has a rough time standing. It'll fall over so you got to be careful with it because it will break easy. So let me just go ahead and pull that in a little bit for you. Right, that's what she looks like up close. I'll pull it in so don't worry about that part. But anyway, she is cool looking. Something about the Day of the Dead, the way they decorate and everything. Flowers. Very cool. Okay. Well, you see what I'm saying? That thing likes to fall over, man. Because of the, the base of it. It doesn't have much to stand on. Okay. But anyway, let me pull that back. Alright, now you can see it up close and personal. Enough about that one. Oops. I'm trying to stretch here. Okay, now let's get into this guy here. But that one's cool. Um, not sure where I got that from. Probably the Christmas tree shop, like everything else. But the top does come off, as you can see. All right. Inside is one of my beads, which I'll show you later here. Let me just pull a couple of them out. Uh, the actual, it's um, it's a bracelet. But these beads right here are what they look like. You got little skulls. Yeah, they look. Oops. Okay, there's a bunch of them in here. Because one of the bracelets did break. And I'll show you those in a second here. And you just simply put the top back on it. Not the other way. Helps to put it on right, guys. There you go. But that's what she looks like. It's very cool looking. Alright. It's got beautiful color. Especially for black and white. Okay. It does stand out. I mean, yellows. Anything with black on it, it really does stand out if it's got bright colors on it. Alright. Alright. Moving on. Let's get into this one here. Okay, now this one here is quite colorful. Okay, that's what she looks like. You like my mask up in the back? I actually had this uh, shelf built simply because I was building up a, uh, a large amount of masks and I actually needed to, you know, keep them all together in one, one um, situation. And so I actually had the shelf built. Okay, I had it uh, stained and polyurethane, and that's what she looks like so far. Okay, but anyway, 
the Day of the Dead. Now the flowers in themselves got sparkle to them. Okay. You can pick these up cheap enough. They're like four bucks. Okay. These are nice to your collection. If you're into the Day of the Dead, these things are very cool. Okay. All right. Let's put you down here. Now we're going to get into the actual braces that I was telling you about. Now there's a bunch of them in here. But I'm going to show you what they look like up close and personal. That's my Day of the Dead bowl. And this here, <coughs> as you can see, are shaped like little skulls. But these, as you can see, they're kind of small. So if you've got big wrists, they'll break on you. So I don't, I don't wear them for that reason. Uh, these are the braces that I showed you in that one uh, head. One of them did break. Okay. And that's what it looks like. I got a bunch of these and I got them from Spirit Halloween. All right. Now these are cool right here. Okay. Now the bowl itself. Alright. It's got a cool little design to it. I use this for a candy dish every once in a while. Okay. It's got some cool designs to it. Alright, <clears throat> let's get into the next ones here. Now, I will tell you this. I am big into chopsticks. As you can see. Let me cut quite a bit of them there. Okay. And these right here are Japanese. Okay. Hang on. Get all the smudge off them. But anyway... And that's what these look like. That's the case for it. Now, when you take, and you can slide them out. Alright. And there you go. So now they got these cool little designs at the end. Okay. Okay. Oh! And then I got some other ones in here, like these right here, got some very cool looking writing on them. Okay, got a bunch of those, and I got these metal ones too, which I thought were cool. Alright, and then you got your standard ones here, that I actually stole from P.F. Chang's a long time ago. <laughs> Because I like chopsticks. I can't help it. Okay. But anyway, those are my chopsticks. But the cup itself, as you can see, I think I got that from um, Christmas Tree Shop, probably. Like I get all this other stuff. And so that's pretty much the same, yeah. Alright. Let's move you this way. Put you right there. Let's get into my triple tiers. They're like a totem pole. They're very cool looking, okay? I'm gonna bring the other one out too. This one's a little bit bigger, okay? But they got very cool designs to them. And that one's a little bit bigger than the other ones. Okay, let's get this one here. Towards the bottom here, it's got some cool designs, okay? Very colorful, okay? And down towards the top of the head, okay? Pull back so you can actually see the whole thing, right? Alright. Same with this one here. This one's a bigger one. Alright. Sorry about the lighting. Put my hand out of the way. Okay, on the sides. And towards the back here. Alright. These guys are out of the way. And I got three more things to show you. And then we're going to end this. Actually, two more. Well, technically three. All right. These have some weight to them. They're like a paperweight. 
There you go, guys. Do you see them? No, you wouldn't because there they are. Alright, so pull it in. There you go. So that's what they look like, okay? Very cool color design. This one's black and I think it has a little smudge on it or something. I'm not sure, but it's it only cost me a dollar. I'm not sure where I got this from. But anyway. When I see Day of the Dead type stuff, you know I gotta buy it. Okay, this is what this looks like. Okay, and this one here. These are a little dusty because they've been sitting on the shelf for a while. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the last thing, which I think is one of the coolest things that I have. And I actually bought this from the Christmas tree shop. It is a cross that is based on the Day of the Dead. This thing is gorgeous. I pull back. Okay, oh, a little bit back further. There we go. All right. And that's what she looks like. I'll show you what this looks like up close. But you can see the detail in this thing is absolutely amazing. All right, there you go. Okay, so now let's just pull it in close so you can see the details. Alright, let me just make sure this is pulled back. Yeah, it is. Okay. The center of the skull is cool. The flowers and everything are absolutely breathtaking on this thing. I did a nice job on it, and then obviously you got the back, which is not much to look at, but the front is the main thing. Okay. Okay, that is it on my Day of the Day collection, guys. As far as I can see, yeah, I'll be moving on to the next shelf, which is going to have some miscellaneous stuff. I think I'm going to go down towards the bottom. i got some Halloween bundles down there. Going to show you some of that stuff. But that's it on my Day of the Dead. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm going to keep pushing out some um, more videos because i got a whole room of stuff to actually show you. So it's going to take me some time to get through all this. Especially when we get into the horror figures. And, and i got a bunch of them up on the shelf here. I got some Funko Pops, some uh, Terra Toonies, I think they're called. Toonie Terrors, Toonie Terrors. I get them back, uh, mixed up. And also my uh, my bobbleheads as well as my body knockers. I'm going to show you all those horror figures. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.